All right, today we were in for a huge treat. Yesterday, we played the reserve as a warm-up round, and today is the big day. The seaside course at Sea Island. We even pulled a few strings, asked a few questions. We're gonna get the drone up in the air. We're gonna show you this whole course. This place is spectacular. Let's head to the first tee. All right, first hole, 400 yards. Big old bunker on the right side. I'm gonna try to see if I can land this one safely. Get off to a good start here. No. Get that one out of the way early. Settle right there. All right. Ooh. Do it right there, you'll be all right. All right. Okay. All right, so if you missed our last video, we played the retreat yesterday, and then afterwards we got to check out some of the resort. We're staying at the lodge. This place is terrific. And we talked about it in the last video, we are starting to do a new thing on the channel, of course, ratings. And I'll tell you what, this one might be uh, up there. I think a big thing today for us too is gonna be to manage some expectations because this course is gonna be a lot harder than what we experienced yesterday. That was a really fun warm up. Um, shot one of my best rounds, but they said here, this is the course you celebrate the pars, not the birdies, and a lot of it is on the green. So glad we've got Hollywood out here with us. Got a caddy to show us some of these reads because otherwise we might get beat up. This guy loves Sea Island. Oh! oh, that would have been something. It would have been. Par on the first hole. And like I said, I'm so glad we got the proper authorizations to get the bird up in the air because I'm looking around here and I see marshland, water, amazing bridges. This place is it's pretty spectacular and we're only in one hole so far. One thing we didn't see a lot of yesterday at the reserve was water. There was a couple holes, but this one we're gonna see it a whole lot more. And this par four is shorter, 360. I've got less than driver because the whole right side is trouble here. So I'm gonna try to get a hybrid somewhere in that fairway. That's it, man. Safe play. Mikey drives on the other hand. <laughs> I kind of like this. This driver. is your shot shape, this hole. It is, that's why. Just like planned. Man who knows his shot shape. Yep. Oh, I'm over there with you, Frank. Taking those Sea Island divots? Yeah, gotta give it a little pace, but Hollywood, when it gets up there, it's probably gonna run. Yeah, that thing wobble, right? Settle there. Okay. Okay, I'm up there. I'm happy with that. Little left of it. We'll take that all day. I'll tell you, we're already seeing a bunch of wildlife. You see that gator out there? It's cool. Yeah. Finally. We didn't see any Florida, but we got him in Georgia. First gator of the year. First gator of the year. Look at us. Jersey guys, New York guys getting excited about an alligator. That stuff excites me, at least. There's probably a billion comments to you. Like, I see those every day. I know. <laughs> I remember, we're not tipping it out. But by the way, the tips, there's a five-shot handicap differential between the greens we're playing and the tips right behind us. There's four total tee boxes here and then you have the, uh, the forward tee, so a lot of tee options. But we got a 190 shot, it is super protected. There is a bunker sitting right in front of that pin on the left side there. So if you wanna go pin hunting, you're bringing that bunker in, that's for sure. So if you didn't catch our video yesterday, one thing I mentioned is that we're playing, it's actually the, uh, the first week in February here. Certainly not what I would call the, the prime of the season and which is why I've been impressed with the condition that the place is in. Uh, everything, beautiful, green, lush, and it is, it is not peak by any means in that first week of February. So I would imagine you come here in peak season, this place really pops. Oh, I almost saved it. All right, Hollywood, tell us about this hole. Par four, number one handicap, 90 degree dog leg to the left. Our target line is a bunker straight ahead at 285. What, what do you got there? Got an iron, I know. It's rare, but look at this mess. I don't want to mess around with it. Well, Hollywood did say that uh, straight was more important than long on this hole. Exactly. I like that scouting report. So one thing we talked about in our rating yesterday was the, the vibe and the hospitality. And I'll tell you what, we are definitely fully experiencing that Southern hospitality. It is a real thing for all you fellow up Northerners. Get down here and everybody is just so nice, so kind, and so helpful. Even staying here at the lodge and from from the uh, the butlers to the caddies. Yes, I did say butlers. It's an experience, let's put it that way, over at the lodge, top notch. But even here on the course, the starters, everybody, it is a slow pace, 
and I don't mean slow golf. I mean, no one is rushing you. You don't feel rushed at any time. And uh, everybody is just super helpful and polite. It's definitely gonna weigh into our, our ratings. And like I said, that, that Southern hospitality, it is a real thing. All right, if you guys know Mike, you're gonna get this one. Mike just <laughs> asked Hollywood, can I putt that? Hollywood fires it and said, it's 50 yards, Mike. Because <laughs> you could. I wouldn't. So let's see what Mike does here. So if I go more more towards the pin then. Yeah. Okay. I just go right at the pin and try and get the distance right. I think I might putt this like a weirdo. That's right. I've seen people do uh -oh. Yeah. Just the putter. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I think I might just putt Somehow. It. Somehow he let, he convinced Hollywood to let him putt this. It'll take a poke, huh? No, is that good? Stop. Oh, Keep Texas wedge. A little hot. Another thing too that I love here, just all of these lead ups to the green. Just love the way they're just so beautifully manicured with the striping. Just a pretty aesthetic. Down the hill. Dang, didn't get down that hill. Ugh, it's gonna leave a long putt for par. So this par four, it's not particularly long, but for us, it's not reachable to the, uh, the green. So I've got a three wood in hand, but Hollywood just telling us a story that Jason Kokrak from the back tees there, he said it was closer to about a, a 320 or so carry. He said Jason Kokrak made a hole in one on this par four from those tees. These tour guys are playing a whole different game. So anyway, if you go straight, the bunker straight out is 225. So you do need to cut off some of this marsh if you're gonna hit anything bigger than that type of club. Um, and then again, going for the green would be silly here, especially with the wind, it's just way too much for us. So let's see what line Mike takes. I got a three wood in hand. I'm gonna take a little bit off it and try to catch that fairway, that little strip of fairway out there. It's a good smart play. A little bit less aggressive line. Ooh. Correction, what I said back there, Hollywood said the carry was 370 as the crow flies when Kokrak made that hole in one. I would imagine there was a little bit of helping wind. There's left some, definitely some left to right wind here, but regardless, imagine bombing the ball that far and holding it. Yeah, right. Come on. That's insane. Incredible. Oh. Frank. Oh. <laughs> that is a heartbreaker oh. of a leave short for birdie. That's a heartbreaker. How do you leave that birdie put that short? One turn, one revolution, we would have had a birdie out here. Look at the water, look at the, the bunker. Do you, do you smell an early eight? I'm like, smelling an early mid eight, eight, eight? Here. I know. Mid eight? I gotta see if we'll get to mid eight. Okay. I gotta see. Watch this guy, it depends on how he plays. <laughs> yeah, that can no. be very influenced. <laughs> the waters do help though. Grab me one too. Another par three here, you might've heard Hollywood say it. It's about 135, these guys are more like 142 because we're, we're into the breeze. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it, it's blowing quite a bit. There is a bunker that protects the front, and this is just such a pretty view down the line here. Uh, this course is, so far, it's turned out to be something spectacular. And keep in mind, the plantation course is the one that usually gets a lot of the attention because that's where the tour will play. But from what I've heard, a lot of the tour players who live in the area, um, and, and there's quite a few, really the guys have been telling me they like to play this course. It's one of their favorites to play. So it's the, not the plantation that gets all the love, that's for sure. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt the score. Card. At least it wasn't Zach's head. Yeah. A little dicey here, but it could have been a whole lot worse after it hit that path. Oh, went right under it. Get going. All right, first par five. Nothing fancy. It's a long straight par five, especially into this wind. We just want to keep it center, left center, off the tee. Okay. Two quick funny stories about these northern boys not knowing what they're doing down here. First, when we were in Pinehurst, I tried to get a great shot of Mike and I laid oh in no, this Oh no, what did you do? I, well, I <laughs> laid in this stuff and I got attacked by fire ants. I have the scars to this day two years later from it. But I learned, as I was setting up the camera a second ago, don't lay down in here. Yeah, don't do that. The second thing, you, Mike, tried to play a prank on me one time and took a bunch of the Spanish moss off a tree mm -hmm. and shoved it in my bag. And then the starter said, don't do that. <laughs> it's, 
full of bugs. I learned usually. my lesson. So those are the two times we learned our lesson. So if you're coming from up north and you're not used to this stuff, learn from our mistakes. And don't do it. And especially don't lay down in here. All right, 526 right into the wind. Definitely can't lay off a driver here. Ah, uh, she a beaut. Caught it thin, we'll get away with that. Run for days. This is a live look at Mike setting up his divot cam. These uh, shorter wedge shots, he just knows what's about to happen. Oh, you're gonna get a good one. Be a good number too. Nice. Divot nice. cam. There it is. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Let's go, come on! Pull the pin, Mike. That's what, the comment. That would have been the most incredible par after losing a ball. Ugh. Another short par four here. Uh, bunker on the left side comes in at about 250, and on the right side it comes in at 220. So I'm gonna try taking both out of play with a hybrid here. It's only a 350 yard hole total. You'll be safe. Okay, Mike's got driver. He's gonna try to take these bunkers out of play by carrying them here. Good there, Hollywood. Okay, plenty of good bridges out here. You know, we're big bridge guys. It's definitely gonna help the ranking. Yeah, it's definitely gonna help the ranking. Slide a little bit starting of the starting to creep bridge, up in the mid and the low bonus. eights here, mid, bridge mid eights. Bonus. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're definitely starting to feel the wind as one of the defenses out here because normally that shot right there that I had would be just a normal, very casual nine iron distance wise, but the wind caught it. I can't tell if I carried that bunker. If so, it could be definitely a shot or two swing on this hole. So wind is a factor here if it's blowing and it seems to be the fan seems to be trying to turn it on and off as we work our way through the course. We have got a lot of beach to cover here, a lot of beach. So one thing I will say is that where everyone was saying the uh, reserve yesterday was a great warm up, it was a good confidence booster. This definitely feels like it's big brother. Like a, this is a big boy course here. You can feel out the championship course. It is tough in spots. If you miss here, a lot less forgiveness than there was yesterday. What are we looking at for nine? Straight bar four, straight into the breeze. It's uh, water on the right, bunkers on the left. Pretty narrow landing area. 250 to the bunker on the left hand side. I think maybe less than drivers, like straight again, like you were saying, that three wood maybe for me. I think with the wind in our face, we're good with the driver. Did you go with the driver? Okay. She's coming back. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh. oh. That's beautiful. Thanks. Right down the middle. Right down Broadway. So Mike came within about, as you can see where that ball landed and rolled back, like 18 inches of clearing this massive, I mean, look at the size of this thing. Massive fairway bunker. Now he's just hoping that eight iron is enough to get over that lip. We got about 145 from where he's at here. Yeah, so I jumped out up to a nine iron here. Just feel like the eight might be too much and Hollywood said short is okay. Extra insurance for that lip too. Yep, exactly. Good out. Okay, I'm happy with that. Can't be unhappy with that. Yep. Oh. Short? No, I think perfect. In the hole maybe? Oh, just a little short. A little short. It was looking so, it's tracking. <laughs> All right, feels good to get a par there after a couple of slip ups in the last couple of holes. Try to get back on track before we make this back nine. And I'll tell you what, one thing I will say is that the greens, no doubt, as it gets warmer and the sun comes up, they're speeding up. They were a little quick this morning, but manageable. And now they are, they are starting to get really quick. Still rolling true, can't complain about them, but definitely have to make some mental adjustments. Would you say the greens are getting quicker as the sun oh, comes yeah. up? Oh yeah, they're heating up, man. They're getting quicker. What a cool Good little question. halfway house here. Let's take you inside here, check this place out. I see pimento yes. cheese as an option. Chicken salad in a cup. Okay. A little protein pack for the back nine. I'll take chicken salad on bread if you don't mind. 
I'm gonna do a sandwich. Leave it to the camera guy to get insect repellent when everybody else is getting egg salad. Yeah, I'm sweating out there. Right now. I want to take this thing off. So that's the only way I can do that. There you go. I'll tell you what, that's gonna help the rating. That was a nice little halfway house. Big time helps the rating. Pimento cheese sandwiches, yeah. egg salad. Nice little selection in there. up in the 8-4s area, I think. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's creeping so up, far, guys. So far. Okay, Hollywood just wet our appetite. He said we haven't even really gotten to the really pretty part of the golf course yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you, if it gets better than this, we're in, we're in for a treat. This 10th hole here, 339, so not super long. But as Hollywood was saying, the green is where it gets really tricky. Just try to get it somewhere on the green. There's a huge bunker I can see from here protecting that green. He said this next stretch of three holes is very difficult. He said after that, it eases up a little bit, takes the, the, get, the foot off the pedal a little bit. And he says there's some pretty holes out there ahead of us for this back nine. As we get closer, I'm seeing what Hollywood's saying about this green complex. There's a massive, ominous bunker there and it, the whole green is kind of elevated. It just, it just keeps happening here. It's like the one thing I see so often is that you can be in great shape off the tee, but at the end of the day, the strokes happen around the holes here. So bring your short game if you play here at the seaside course, and I'm sure the plantation is no different. Dancing, yeah. <laughs> Next. Took extra club, I wanted to cover that bunker. Jury's out for me though, on the, uh, the baskets on top of the pins. I like them for character. Definitely the character for the course kind of rankings, but the only thing that makes it tough for me, I'm not used to not having flags and not seeing the wind. Not seeing the wind, yeah. No, it's I hear the that. only thing. Like, it's a, there's been a lot of wind at the greens. You just can't quite tell with that basket, but it is a cool look. Is that good speed? <laughs> Five years of wind every time. Yep, we'll right take back. that all day. Right, all day. Right side here. Oof. Texas Reds champ. Look at that. Speed. Okay. Speed of champions. That's it. That's like two incredible pars, right? That's Perfect. it. <laughs> I think the Oscar is very long. Very long. Holy cow. We didn't even sniff the fairway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> two completely different pars. Wow. Brought a little luck with us to Sea Island. So we are at right about 200 where we're at. Uh, however, Hollywood is telling us long is not the play. So I'm gonna play it more like 190, 195. Big green, that's one at least one thing we have working for us here on this long par three. It's nice contact there. Yes, what a shot. That felt good. That, yeah, better felt good. That was great. We got all of that four iron. Look at this. I trying. knew it. I knew it was going to be wrong. When Curious you said to know if four you iron, and I'm standing iron. here with a five, I'm I like, know. am I <laughs> making the wrong mistake? <laughs> Not too bad. Kept it below the hole there. Oh, pretty short. Oh. Good par, though. Thank you. I tried my best. Wait, wait, the biscuits and gravy were, was an 8.6 for you an this morning? 8.6, almost 9, pushing. They were delicious. I wish I had a photo to take you guys, but uh, they gave you this bowl, these two thick biscuits just covered in this southern okay. sausage gravy. And you're playing well. And I'm playing so if well. If you get superstitious, you're going to be about 400 pounds. I'm going to be about eat 400 that pounds. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Can't wait for tomorrow morning. He's <laughs> on the biscuits and gravy tour. <laughs> yeah. Look at this the aiming line. <laughs> that's a dicey line. Does this give you like, yeah. It's the unintentional tiger line. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Let's take a look. Not too long, right? Oh, I see it. I see it. I lost it. Right where you wanted it. Yep. Oh, boy. Not going to be enough. Oh. Yeah. Can't get a great stance on it. There we Take go. Take your lumps. That's it. 
Try not to make too big a number. Oh, you gotta fly. I got too fat with it. Stay there. Stop. Wow, I'll take it. <sighs> I should have took it when I could. That's cool. That's a cool little shot there. Okay. Like that. Oh, all right. She didn't put me in the sand. All right, found the hazard, but you've got a shot. Well, I hit it over here just so I can enjoy more of these views. Yeah, look at this. You don't. Uh, want this is all intentional, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. But for real, I mean, how cool is the marsh runs all the way up the left side to the hall? Yeah. All right, yeah, wind's yeah. blowing right hearts, right to left. Just wanted to make sure I could experience it. Nope. Ball way above my feet, and I slipped. Stop there, stop there. Wow, yeah, pulled it. Oh. Would have been a some par been a from, record books. from the oh. red every, two times. Yeah. I was out in the red state twice. <laughs> oh, heartbreak. That's two in a row. Birdie to bogey. <sighs> Welcome back to the Mike story. All right, 15th hole here. What a great trip it's been so far. If you saw our other video from the retreat course, which we played yesterday down here in Georgia, our first time here playing golf in the state of Georgia. It's been a blast. We've been here for uh, this event called Lexus in Lynx. So Lexus, the car company invited us down. They gave us a vehicle. We met with some other content creators. It's just been a really cool itinerary. Super blessed to be here. And guys, by the way, loving this course. I did not give it enough love out of the gate, but as I'm going through and seeing all of the beauty that surrounds this back nine, it's gonna get a high rating. This is a course you must put on your list. Sea Island Resort is a resort you must put on your list. And uh, yeah, tonight's our last night. We got a nice little Italian dinner tonight. It's right up my alley uh, before heading home tomorrow. So when we played the retreat yesterday, one thing we talked a lot about was playability. That's why we liked it as a good warm up confidence builder. One thing I will say here is that as much as everyone's talked to us and told us, be prepared for it to be more difficult and tough. It's a tough test but I'd say it's a fair test. Mm -hmm. I would say we've played some very difficult golf courses before where it's almost like pars come <laughs> very far and few between. Here it's different, like this, you've seen, there's a couple holes we've struggled on, you can make some big numbers, which is gonna hurt the overall score, but there's plenty of other spots where you can make your pars, you're gonna see some birdie attempts. So it's not one of those days where you have to just be in for saying, I'm just gonna get beat up all day, I do like that. Well, if you're a bridge guy like we are, there's three beautiful ones right here. Great walking bridges. You know, we didn't get a chance to walk today, just the event that we're playing and we had to kind of like move along. But I think this could be a very walkable course, no doubt about it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's designed to take a lot of walking rounds. Uh, and I think if you can enjoy it on foot, I would I would definitely say go for it. But it's nice to have the cart option too, especially when you, when you want to keep moving. Like I said, pace of play is terrific, but it's definitely a walkable course, no doubt about it. And then you really get to enjoy some of these beautiful bridges out here. It's a good shot, Frank, good shot. Yes, oh, come on, come on. Did he do it? Boom, another victim. Who cut the lip on this cop? Seriously, right? <laughs> eh? All right guys, 17 here, par three. 155 is what Hollywood has us at here. Try to finish strong. In a second, we're gonna dig in and tell you what we think for that rating. I don't think I have enough club. I don't wanna go back to the cart, so here comes a little Sea Island slinger. Oh, man. They call that the, the, the lazy overswing. Yep. Okay. Might work for him, too. Nice, all right. Plenty of club. I swung hard. 110%. <laughs> yep. Ah, just tried to steer it. Sit down. Okay. Good 
Good shot. Oh, good par. One day. All right, Hollywood 18, closing hole. What do we got? Long straight par, four into the wind. Bunkers on both sides of the fairway. Some water up by the green. Good par four. Yeah, Hollywood's not kidding. 430 yard par four. It's playing right into the wind. I can see that big American flag in the distance just blowing right at us. It's gonna play like more. It feels every bit of a par five playing into this wind. We seem to save the best for last. Yep. Delicious. Yep, felt good to drive it well again. Crispy. Sweet and the savory. <laughs> Sweet and the savory. All right, I got the hybrid because this, this is a big boy hole into this wind. Par four, we're gonna play about 210 into the wind. No, it's not gonna get there in the wind. The wind is strong. Go. Uh, oh. oh, bunker. A little more right, that would have been pretty nice. Yep. All right, guys, it's time we gotta do our rating here. And I'll tell you what, all the things that go into it, I think the number one thing that's going into it for me, the condition this place has been in. Pristine. Absolutely, especially yep. for February. And uh, even what Hollywood was telling us, he says he even, he thinks this is the better course versus plantation, plantation. Where, where they get the, the tour course. events yep. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So does not disappoint, but now, yeah, we had a little bit back and forth in the cart. We were debating a little bit. Rubber's got to meet the road somewhere. I think so. And at the beginning, I was at a 7.9, as I said before. But as it went on and it got more beautiful and the scores were better and the vibe just... She won you over? She won me over. I, I think the 8.4 number is where we can sit. I think uh, we're going to sit right at a nice 8.4. This place has really impressed us. And uh, this is one, you know, you may have the plantation on your mind, but if you're coming here, you're playing here. Play Seaside. Yeah, play this, this place one. is incredible. Absolutely. Look at this wildlife in our backdrop. It's like we uh, planned it. This place is, <laughs> it's nice. 8-4, it guys. Right. All right, great ride. <laughs> All right. This was a blast. Oh thank you so much. This was so great. Really thank fun. you so yeah, much. Thank you guys. This was amazing. That was great. Well, <sighs> All right, guys, that's it for the Seaside course here at Sea Island. What a spectacular course this has been. Let us know, especially if you've played it, if you agree with our rating. Unfortunately, we won't get the chance to play the plantation course during this little trip we've done with Lexus. Huge thanks to Lexus, by the way, for having us and bringing us down here. Of course, we wanted to play for so long, but if nothing else, it leaves us an excuse to come back to Sea Island and play the plantation. Let us know if you guys agree with our rating in the comments. Subscribe. We've got a lot more great golf courses coming up. See you in the next video.